Hey guys, this is the Tech Savvy Scientist, and welcome back to another video. A few days ago, I put out a poll asking if you guys wanted to do any inventory reviews, and it seemed like a lot of you were interested in that sort of stuff. So I gathered up three inventories, and we are going to review them in this video. So today's contestants are going to be Amoyla, I think that's how you pronounce your name. I, I'm sorry if I completely butchered it. Then we're going to review Timo's inventory, and finally OG's inventory. So we have Amoyla first, sorry if I butcher your name. I'm gonna sort by ascending price, so we're gonna start with the lowest stuff. So, he has a few graffitis and some skins, these are most likely all drops. Then some RMR stickers, so more RMR stickers and some more drops. Then these are definitely some investments, he has 25 Operation Phoenix cases. And we jump into our play skins. This is a P250 wing shot field tested with some cool stickers. Two investment skins, the dual Beretta's Moon and Libra and the Mac 10 Indigo. Then a Tech 9 remote control. Some more glove case investments. An Apotheris field tested. A breakout weapon case. Another investment in the form of the dual Beretta's Briar. An AK broke purple. And we're actually going to check this out in game. So it's got some pretty cool matching stickers with the three signature stickers and then the tilu just kind of stands out on the wood adding a little bit of accent of red with the stars so it's a pretty cool skin so his next skin is this low folk field tested glock nuclear garden let's see what the wear looks like so as you can see there are a few scratches but it still looks really nice considering that it's field tested and i think this is one of the best glock play skins for the price then he has some more investments with the katavitsa 2019 legends autograph capsules he has a well-worn monster mashup it's a little bit worn but it still looks pretty decent then two factor new scar 20 magna cartas now i don't know if these came from trade-ups but the floats look like they kind of came from trade-ups then he has an op sun and leo with a sticker i'm assuming oh no it's not on the scope actually but wow that's got the sun pattern so that's a very very nice pattern it could be a little bit more it could be a little bit higher but Still, it's in the middle, so it's a really good pattern. Then he has a factor in AOM for Global Offensive. Again, I'm assuming this came from a trade-up, but I really don't know. A Statrak Battle Scarred Glock Vogue. Let's check this one out. It's a little bit worn, but, but it still looks really nice. He has an M4A1S Hyper Beast with a pretty good field-tested float. A field-tested Deagle Kamicho Dragon. Let's check this out. I like this skin very much. Oh, yeah never disappoints then a field tested m4a1s player 2 a field tested ak point disarray with some stickers so let's check those out yeah very nice matching stickers with the blue coloration and then he has some more coverts the glock bullet queen and field tested and the ak empress in battle scarred let's see how dark this is i mean it's noticeably dark but again you could really easily use this and not realize that it's battle scarred and now we're getting into the knives so he has a well-worn bowie knife stained rank 523 i don't actually know if this is highest or lowest okay so i just double checked and this is the rank 523rd highest float bowie knife stained the the stained is is a very cool pattern because it, it kind of looks like the the vanilla with some patches but it's way way cheaper and his next knife is a gut knife doppler phase 2 minimal wear again this is rank 110 highest float so let's check this one out this is a, this has got a lot of purple in it it's like in between a sapphire and a ruby kind of a mix of the two kind of fun and then his final skin is this battle scarred bayonet black laminate Again, it's rank 642 highest float. And yep, the black laminate never disappoints, even in Battle Scarred. It looks really, really nice with only a bit of wear near the handguard. So he's covered pretty much every usable weapon in the game. The Glock, the USP, the M4, the AK, the Desert Eagle, the Op. And he also has multiple knives. So for this reason, I give him a solid 8.5 out of 10 on the tech review scale. So let's jump over to Timo's inventory. And here is Timo's profile. So let's check out his inventory. So he has a bunch of coins. And after that, he has a lot of snake bite case opening things. This is, I believe, from Zippel. So Zippel does these thousand case openings and then he trades all these skins over to Timo for him to process them and trade them up and stuff. For example, that's very nice, a 006 M249 LSIPR, that's very usable in a trade-up, very nice. 
and he has a bunch more so let's just skip that and this is where the interesting things start so the first interesting thing is a triple zero six nova exo rank 488 then a quado two negev terrain with four phase stickers then he has a triple oh nine galil cold fusion i believe this was traded up by snicko and then donated to timo but i'm not 100 percent certain and then let's see he has a cobalt core a sawed off apocalypto double o rush lush ruins desert eagle corinthian pp bison seabird so just, so just pretty cool uh, play skins. A stat track, Scar Outbreak, a Minimal Wear Low Flow 0.071 Famas Nightbore, and he has a music kit, a Battle Scarred P90 Death Grip. That let's check it out how well. So yeah, I mean it does. It, you you still can see some hands, but you can also definitely see all the bones and stuff. So it's it's starting to become the special pattern with the high flow Battle Scarred on the p90 death grip then he has this thing the cz auto victoria which apparently costs 531 bucks i believe this was a gungnir trade up fail correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it was in one of his videos yeah i mean let's check it out with the stickers and everything yeah i mean it definitely looks cool like the genji suits the skin very well because of the gold accents and all the little crevices in the metal but you know i mean the the name says it all costs 531 bucks not fun not fun then he has a special agent ava a factor new glock water elemental with four hollow stickers now this is a really cool craft the float is nothing special, but the craft makes it look so nice. Then he has a fairly low float factor new MP9 Hydra. A 0027 Og Carved Jade. This looks like it came from a Bengal Tiger trade up attempt, a factor new one, in fact. Then he has a Battle Scarred AK Fuel Injector. This is his main AK play skin with those stickers. And even though it's Battle Scarred, it doesn't, doesn't look too bad. It's a little dark. It, it has a little bit of dirt on it some in some places. But it's still it's recognizable to be the Fuel Injector. So it's still in Battle Scarred. It looks very nice. And then he's got this. The Statrak UMP Monster Mashup. Which, as the name tag says, 3.33% thanks Zipple. It was one of Zipple's trade-ups where this was a 3.33% outcome. And Timo actually hit it. So, Zippo just went ahead and donated the skin to him, which was very nice of him. So yeah, very clean stat track factor new, pretty much zero scratches. Then here's the second thing. This costs 644 bucks, an SSG08 Blood in the Water factor new. Now this was an op fade trade up attempt. I believe it was 20%. And again, the, the same thing happened. Timo was sent the skins by Zippo to do it, and the trade up unfortunately failed. So Zippo just allowed Teemo to keep the scout. Then he has an XM Ancient Lord 008, so that's a very, very low float. Yeah, so pretty much zero scratches on there. Then a MAC-10 Red Filigree 006, that's super, super low again, rank 472. Now this skin is, is a very, very beautiful MAC-10. And again, since it's 006, there are zero scratches. And now comes the whiteout. This was traded up to by Timo, and it has all the cool Bish Bash Bosh stickers. Very colorful craft, and a, and a very uncolorful P250, so very, very cool craft. Then he's got his op graphite with all the battle scarred stickers, the hollow on the scope. This also looks especially good. It's very, it's, it's low key, but it looks very nice. Then this Desert Eagle Emerald Yermingander 004 rank 304. Also with some Bish Bash Bosch stickers. Now this, this skin is incredibly expensive and incredibly rare in double O float. Then he has a pair of Moto Gloves Cool Mint in fuel tested, which goes very well with his knife, which is the next item. So you can see it's a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray, a little bit of everything. Now his knife, is the Karambit Freehand Low Float Field Tested. Now, this is a very nice knife with, again, the little gray and blue and purpley parts, so it goes very well with his gloves. And his best skin, which I'm sure everyone knows about already, is named Juicy Gave Me This, and it's a Field Tested Low Float M4A4 Howl. Now, as the name suggests, this was donated by Juicy to Timo on one of his streams, which was an, an insane moment and an insane donation. What would you say if someone came and just randomly donated a howl to you it would be pretty nice so yeah that's that's his howl with 
the pretty much unnoticeable battle scarred sticker and the incineration hollow i think it's called and then he's got some more case opening things and that's it for Timo's inventory. So again, he has very nice skins for every single weapon. The M4, the AK fuel injector, the Deagle, the Glock, the USP, the AWP, even the MP9, the AUG, the MAC-10. So he has very nice play skins, one of each. So you don't really see any repetitions. So for that reason, I give him a solid 9 out of 10 on the tech review scale. And finally, we have OG's inventory, and you can already see a lot of cool stuff in his item showcase, but let's check out the inventory. So again, starting from the backside, we have a named bomb, Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> we got some uh, storage units, operation investments, some stickers, a random Yumpy Arctic Wolf, some gamma cases, I don't know if these are to open or as investments, but I guess we'll find out soon. Then some spectrum cases, some P250 metallic DD pads, these are sure to go into a trade up sometime soon. And we have some chroma 2 cases, a few random stickers, an agent, some nova walnuts, which is interesting because those are fairly rare, those are from the original inferno collection. so. Interesting how he's got those. I wonder what the story behind them is. Another uh, Inferno skin, the dual bread is anodized, and he's got a P250 X-ray, he's got uh, 30 Spectrum cases, a Desert Eagle Urban DD pad. That is from the Overpass collection. So that, again, that's it's not rare, but it's 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 an it's a pretty obscure skin. Then he's got a, a G3 SG1 Azure Zebra. MP7 anodized navy, assuming that's going into a trade up. Same with this Deagle Urban DD pet. He's got some chroma cases, some phoenix cases, a random manticore hollow sticker. And now we start getting into the skins. So the first one is this SSG 08 Dark Water, rank 781 lowest float. These are 0.1 capped. I mean, I like the pattern, but these Dark Waters always look so scratched up and so ugly because of it. So moving on, he has a low float, Nova Moon and Libra, then a Tech 9 fuel injector, well worn, some glove cases, MP7 Bloodsport, 0.361 float, field tested, some breakout weapon cases, a P250 Mortos Minimal Wear, 1234 float, that's kind of fun, with a Stone Scales foil, then he's got a uh, field tested SSG08 Death's Head, then he's got some Huntsman cases, some Winter Offensive weapon cases, a battle scarred P90 death grip 0.85 float. Oh yeah, this is pretty much perfect when it comes to death grip battle scards. So very very nice pickup there. Then he's got some esports 2013 winter cases, a stat track minimal wear SSG Ghost Crusader with a 0.08 float, some random pins, a sawed off of the Kraken from the winter offensive collection and field tested. A music kit, some battle scarred hollows, a rage sticker, a heavily battle scarred P90 Asimov. So yeah, very scratched up, kind of dark, but looks pretty good in its own way. A well-worn 5.7 case hardened, maybe it's a blue gem? No, it's not a blue gem, but I mean, it's also not a piss gem. Then he's got a Nova Graphite Factor new, another random pin, a stat track dual Beretta's hemoglobin, 10 Operation Hydra cases, a MAC-10 Fade. Now we need to check this out. Ooh, the Fade looks very good there with the stickers. The colors match very well. I'm not sure what percent Fade this is, but this looks very close to Max Fade. So yeah, very nice MAC-10 play skin. Then we've got an AUG Anodized Navy from the, from the Alpha Collection. And interesting, this says this item item was granted during Operation Bravo to an Operation Bravo coin owner. I don't think that's a thing with the new operations. That That's a pretty cool tag there. Then he's got a Desert Eagle Midnight Storm Factory new. Another uh, pin, the general pin. Then a P90 Baroque Red named Cod Gun. That's funny. No skull gun. Yeah, kind of true. An SSG Orange Filigree Factor New, a Factor New M4A4 Dragon King. This is a very cool skin, very cool looking. A little bit scratched up at the back and on the mag, but that's expected with these skins. Then he has two five, seven berries and cherries. Let's check out the patterns. That seems like a very close to max red. And it's prob this is probably a max blue, maybe? No, this is also a fairly close to uh, 
Max Red. A little bit more blue on this one than the other one. Then an AK Red Laminate with some cool stickers. So he has a Battle Scarred Hollow on the wood and some PGL Crackout 2017 Astralis Hollows on the metal. So it looks pretty good. Matches the skin very well and the condition is minimal wear. Then he has a FAMAS Prime Conspiracy Factory New, a Factory New UMP Crime Scene, a Factory New Desert Eagle Knight, that's rare, this is a 0.6 capped skin. Ooh, that looks clean. He has an AK Blood Sport, field tested, low float. A Galil Phoenix Blacklight with a field tested float, let's check it out, maybe it has a Phoenix on it. No, it doesn't, but it's a cool skin either way. He has an Op Boom with 100 Thieves Foil, minimal wear, low float on the scope, so yeah, matches pretty nice. Then a Desert Eagle Cobalt Disruption with some cool blue liquid stickers. So yeah, matches the skin pretty well with the blue, it kind of blends in. And then he has a Glock 18 Franklin, 0.03 float, a 007 SG Hypnotic, a Factor New USB Ancient Vision, a factory in a Mac 10 gold brick. Stat track factory in a USPS Cayman. I believe he unboxed this, but correct me if I'm wrong. Then he has a Tech 9 Terrace, which he just traded up to recently. You might have been able to catch that on the Discord server. And now a factory new first class AK 47 with a decently low float, ranked 246 in the world. Let's check it out with a twin koi uh, hollow on the wood. Then he's got a fuel tested AK fuel injector, a fuel tested MP9 stained glass, a factory new 0.01 MAC-10 red filigree ranked 856 in the world, a minimal wear op graphite with a battle scarred hollow probably on the scope but let's check it out. Yep, it's on the scope. A 0.02 Glock Synth Leaf, which is a very good looking skin. It's very subtle, but it, it looks super, super nice. Then he has a pair of Minimal Wear Moto Gloves Transport. This should look very clean in game because it's Minimal Wear. Yeah, it, there are basically no scratches. A little bit here on the back side of the left hand. And then this is an insane skin. A Desert Eagle Sunset Storm, 009, ranked 416, with four stone scales foils. Very, very nice skin. The stickers complement the red very well, and the float is insane. Then he has a Factor New M4A4 Daybreak, also from the Rising Sun collection. So these are also very cool skins, very rare. He has a Factor New M4 Blue Phosphor with a little hollow sticker over there. Minimal Wear Target Acquired comes next. And then a Field Tested P90 Run and Hide. Then he has a Desert Eagle Emerald Jurmengander Factor New with some cool stickers. So let's check that out. Ooh, that's interesting. He scraped the thing and only the eyes remain with the hollow effect. That's kind of fun. Plus the Spirit uh, Hollow also looks really nice and matches the Deagle pretty well. Especially with the Serpent. Then he has a Field Tested Karambit Scorched. So again, this is one of the lower uh, tier finishes on a knife, but it's a Karambit. But that's not it. This is where the big stuff begins. Field Tested Op Silk Tiger with a foil on the scope. It's a little bit beat up. But it's a, it's a very cool skin. A minimal wear pair of Driver Glows Lunar Weave, ranked 449 in the world. Again, you basically can't see any scratches. And he has a 0 .075, so ranked 350 highest float op Lightning Strike. He has a Factor New Desert Eagle Hand Cannon with a flammable foil. That foil is also very expensive. So a very cool and very unique skin here for sure. Another Silk Tiger, but this time it's minimal wear with what looks like the same sticker. So we have very similar skins. Then he has a Minimal Wear AK-47 Panthera Anka with some more Furia stickers. A Furia Gold, in fact, on the wood. This is the same craft as I have with my Panthera Anka, except mine isn't Minimal Wear. Mine is actually Battle Scarred. Then his most expensive deagle, I believe, is the Desert Eagle Blaze Factor New with a Battle Scarred Hollow, which suits this skin very, very well. This, the colors match perfectly. It's a Minimal Wear Butterfly Tiger Tooth, rank 130 in the world. Highest float, that is. So you can see a little bit of scratches, but I don't think that bothers him too much. It's a, it, I mean, come on, it's a Butterfly Tiger Tooth. Does it get any better? Yes! Butterfly Knife Fade with a 91% fade. 0.035 float, so the float isn't special, but the fade is pretty nice. It's a butterfly knife fade. So that's the pinnacle of his inventory. 
So overall, he has some very nice and expensive and rare skins. So that definitely scores some points on the tech review. And he also has some duplicates. So he has a lot of Desert Eagle skins that you might be able to tell. That shuffle feature is very useful to OG here. So I give this inventory a solid 9.5 out of 10. Because pretty much all his skins are old operation skins. Or not, not old, but they're operation skins. So they have investment potential and they are really nice skins as well plus the knives again investment potential and really really nice finishes so yeah solid nine and a half on the tech review so that's been this inventory review i hope you enjoyed it and if you did and would like to participate in the next one then leave your discord down below so i can contact you you can also just write your steam 64 id or your steam user id and that way i can find your steam profile so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.